Hey you guys, so I decided I needed to make another YouTube video regarding what else? Nursing. Um, I've been asked about this several times before, finally. Someone emailed me today on my Instagram and I'm like, yep, it's time to make the video. So I have a few tips to help you maybe um, pass nursing school, be successful with nursing school. I hope it will work for you. These are things, some of the things that I did. Now take it, I've been out of nursing school now for like 10 years, so my stuff may be a little antique, but pretty much the things that I'm saying should still hold true to today as well because I mean, it's still nursing school. So I'll just jump right in, um, take notes if you can. Um, you can always replay it, rewatch it, whatever you want to do. And I'll just go from there. So my main thing will be to keep your faith up. You're gonna need it because nursing school is tough. Like it can be kind of hard Everything's not that easy as it was in under, undergrad, or whatever you call it, the prereqs, whatever. Nursing school's like a different type of thing. So you already need to get your faith up where you can pray all the time about things because it can get challenging. It's not like the hardest thing in the world, but it can be tough. So I would just say definitely get your faith up. My main scripture that I still rely on today is I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Like That is my life mantra. It definitely worked for nursing school, EMP school, all that. DMP school is going on as well. So... Keep that always in the forefront of your mind and in the back of your mind that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Another scripture my mom um told me about, I didn't know about it in undergrad, but it worked for definitely for sure in um EMP school. And it's, I have more knowledge than all of my teachers. Um, It's because I meditate on his laws. And that just means you're smarter than your teachers. Like, you know more than they do. You're studying it. You're the one who like are reading about all those things that's going on. And God will help you to bring things to your remembrance so you can you know remember it when you see it in your text and recall it so those are two other main scriptures that i love and i live by some other tips that i would say for um nursing school is to get organized you are going to have to be organized i am not normally a very organized person i kind of do things as i please and come and go but for nursing school that's a whole different animal and a beast you're going to have to get organized i would say just go to walmart um get you a planner Put everything in because you're going to get a syllabus or a syllabi or whatever from your instructors. Get everything out. See what the syllabi says. You're going to have your test dates on. Get your syllabus. Um, Get your organizer and put it in there. Make all your dates out. Go by day by day, week by week. And when you know you have a test coming up, highlight it or something to get your attention so you'll know what's coming up. Um, Another thing would be to, um after you get organized with all your things you're going to be doing, is to figure out how you study because that's important. Some people are visual learners. Some people are um, audio learners. Some people just just smart. They're gifted. They don't even have to really study. They can look at it one time and they have it. That wasn't me necessarily. Every now and then, I could just look at something once and it would retain, but not all the time. I would like start recording things when I found out. But first, before you start recording, ask your instructor, would it be okay if you make um, recordings, like get your video recorder out. You can probably use your phone now if they say it's okay. I would sit in the front of the classroom, put my recorder up there and just let it record everything that they were saying. So that way when I was driving to clinical, driving to school, because I lived at home on my mom and dad while I was in nursing school and I would just play it, all the things that the recording said while I was driving and commuting back to school. So that would be like one way that I could learn it and just hear it again everything the teacher had said. So definitely, if you want to make sure you ask your instructor, can you record the lecture? And if they say it's okay, then record it. And you can play it driving to school, going back from school. You can play it at home while you're doing whatever you're doing. You can even play it while you're sleeping because sometimes I would play my lecture before I fell asleep and fall asleep with it playing, praying to God that it would just get in my head and I would remember it. And every now and then, I think it kind of worked. Another thing I would say... um would be to uh, attend every test review. So once you take your first test, because the first test is normally the easiest test, but it's not necessarily the easiest because you don't know what to expect. It's like totally new to you, it's foreign. You don't know how to teach your uh, test things, how she's gonna write the test or whatever. So it's maybe the easiest test, but you don't know that. So I would definitely attend the test review if your uh, school has those. I would go to it. Uh, once you attend the test review, 
ask questions like anything that you didn't get i would find out about it i would be the first one to say i raised my hand to find out what's this about what is it and some students would be like challenging different test questions and trying to see if they get a point for it because the nursing school tests are different than the tests that you normally would take in my opinion and probably most nursing students opinions there are four questions on the uh, choices, multiple choice questions, and you have to pick the most correct. All the answers are right, but something is more correct than the other one. So it's up to you to use your critical thinking skills to know which ones um, is the most correct because you got to pick it. Because if you got something that's right, that might have been the answer, but the book says something else, you want to make sure you can always back it up about the book. If they tell you to read the book or they tell you to do the PowerPoint, go by that because that's how you're going to be able to back up your answer. If you can find it and prove it. Another thing I would say would be to um, we have to find out what kind of uh, learning you are. You might need to highlight things. Like you might do better when you read things and highlight it or rewrite it to keep it organized for you and so you can retain it. Because maybe you like to see things in yellow that you know. And maybe green for things that you need to go over again. And maybe pink for things that you know you need to ask questions about. So definitely do that if it works for you. I would like to write my notes out again uh, on my study guides or whatever or PowerPoint lectures and highlight things I didn't know. I didn't bring my laptop to class all the time. I started that in MP school, but in undergrad um, nursing school, and I would just go print out all my lecture notes before um, class started. If you can do that way before class starts, you can because some um, instructors would just allow you to have everything available for you to print out off top. I didn't do that. Um, I'm kind of a procrastinator sometimes, pretty much all the time, but I would just go run in before class and print it out and just take notes while uh, they were instructing in class. Another thing I would say would be to email your professor. Um, if something's weird to you, you don't quite get, you didn't understand it in class, and you didn't want to take up too much of her time or his time, just email. Shoot him an email and ask him, can you set up a meeting with them so y'all can go into detail about it um, together and get like one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, instructions about something. Another thing that I did when I was in nursing school was watch YouTube videos. Like I would watch a YouTube video for pretty much anything you can watch a YouTube video for. If I wanted to know how to start an IV, I watched YouTube. If I wanted to know how to um, start a do a Foley catheter, I would watch YouTube videos. YouTube was very, very much so a helpful tool or resource for you to use for nursing school, in my opinion. You can watch different uh, nursing topics of all kinds of things now. Like if you don't understand a certain topic, like cardiovascular um, area, you can watch a video on that. I particularly like Khan's Academy. It's a great resource. Um, it can break down everything for you that you might not have understood in class. Just kind of give you a better understanding of what you're looking um, at. Another uh, great um, person on Instagram, not Instagram, but YouTube would be the Richards the Nurse RN. She breaks down different topics of pretty much everything you'll talk about in nursing school. And she goes over it really well. And I think she's a great resource. You can just type in Richards the Nurse RN and also Khan's Academy when you just YouTube things and you will find them. And I think they'll be a great benefit. Now, there's all kind of other people on YouTube that you can watch, but those two for sure are who I recommend. Um, another thing... I would say, I don't know if you like studying with groups or anything. I was pretty much a loner for the most part in nursing school until it was time right before the test. I would study myself, read the book, read the PowerPoints, take my notes, you know, listen to everything, driving back and forth to clinical. But like the night before the test, I would always pretty much get with a study group. And there was about three of us in a group, sometimes four. And we would get a library room and just rent it out for the night and you know, study together. We would quiz each other. We would go over different topics. We would ask each other questions to make sure everyone got it. Because some things I got that they didn't get and vice versa. So we would just make sure everybody had the same thing and the right understanding of it. And just quiz each other. Because if you can talk something out to someone else, you, you probably understand what the topic is. And you can if you can teach it, in my opinion, then you probably get it. Like, whatever you're going to do. So if you can write that out, teach it to someone else, in my opinion, you get the topic. So... That was my thing. Now, if you're a catty, chatty patty, whatever you call it, you might not do well in a um, group setting all the time. That's why I would only do it right before the test. And sometime in the morning um, for nursing school, MP school, for sure, I would go to Starbucks with my study group and we would just talk it all out again and make sure we had it. And we would take turns who would drive the day before the test so we could, you know, the one person who drove with the last test wouldn't drive it. The next one so she could talk and drive and listen to it while we were on our way to school to take our quiz. I mean, our test. Let's see what else I have here. So, 
I would say invest in a good laptop. I didn't have a Mac or anything like that, but I know for nursing school, I either had an Acer um, laptop from Walmart or it was an HP, but you're going to need that to make your care plans and all of that. So I would say get one of those. Make sure you have your jump drive and all that because you're going to need that laptop. And I know now it's 2020, so you can just take your laptop to class and type into it, but you're definitely going to need a laptop. You don't want to rely on going to the computer lab to type things or the library. You want to be, if you can have the convenience of having your own laptop, you want it. If you can afford it, do that. Because it's very convenient to have a laptop. Another thing would be, let's see, play your lectures, Khan Academy, get your laptop, get your study groups. Let's see. You found out already what type of learner you are. And you'll be made your professor if you have any kind of questions. You. When it's time to start doing clinicals, now this is not always the case, but when it's time for a clinical portion of your um, nursing school, you want to practice on your family and your friends. Like if you, you don't, of course, you won't stick to with the IV, but you can go over the steps when you do your checkoffs. Like how you're going to talk it out because they'll give you a list of things you have to make sure you're saying for your um, checkoffs um, that you always have to like make sure you say. Like I'm going to go in the room, I'm going to wash my hands. You can pretend and practice on like your family, your mom, your dad, your, your boyfriend or whatever, your friends. So I would definitely suggest practicing on your family. Of course, you don't stick them with the IV. You don't start the actual Foley um, on them, but you just kind of verbalize it. Because if you can verbalize it, you can do it. And you mentally do it in your head. So that's what I did for sure. I'll watch YouTube videos on how to start all that, do all those things, and practice it on my family. Because I went into nursing school not knowing really much about the healthcare field. I did do a program called A Heck of a Summer, um, where I got a chance to kind of see what the medical field was like. But I didn't, I wasn't a nurse tech or anything like that or a medical system before going to nursing school. Essentially, I didn't know much about it. I mean, so you don't have to go to nursing school. I mean, you don't have to go to like become a nurse's aide or something or a tech to do nursing. But some people swear by it, think it's really helpful. And it probably is, but you don't have to. So if you go into a nursing school with no prior knowledge, that's what they're going to teach you. Like you're going to learn all that at school. So don't stress yourself out about that at all. You will, um... Just like YouTube, you read, you just got to get focused. How can I leave that out? You have to be very focused. I didn't do much else while I was in nursing school. I was pretty much just a girl who went to school, went to church, hung out with my family, you know, more friends sometimes, but that's it. For us, like the party and all that, I was, I didn't partake in it. I mean, I knew I had a goal in mind and it was going to be to get done with nursing school the first try. I didn't want to like repeat it and be taking classes over and over again. Now, nothing's wrong if you do. I mean, but... For me personally, I was just focused. So I think you should just get that in your head. Get a routine. Know what your goal is. And just graduate on time. You know, just go in and get it done. Like, you can do all that stuff after the fact. Like, you can party if you want to later. You can take all your vacations. But when you're in nursing school, just know that your life that you probably had before that will change. It's going to be different. It's not the same thing. Like, this is these are people's lives you're going to be dealing with. So it's very important that you go in nursing school knowing that you need to be focused on what's at hand, and that's getting this degree and, you know, finishing school. So you'll learn how to, like, take vital signs on your own. Parents, you know, you can do that because you're going to need a blood pressure cuff, a stethoscope, and all those things, and they'll teach you how to get respirations and, you know, all those different things you do for vital signs. And I would just say, yeah, practice on your parents, your family if you can. If you can eliminate bills, and like if you're, I had the advantage of being young in nursing school. I didn't have any kids. I wasn't married, so I went into it with a pretty easier slate than some. I mean, everybody's different, but I was at home with my parents. So if you can eliminate debt and not have to worry about doing all that, definitely do so. If you can stay at home with your family while you go to nursing school, definitely. I recommend doing it. I mean, you'll make bills later, but for then, for now, like I would say, just be focused on the task at hand. And, you can be home with your family, do it. Because that's a blessing if you can. Let's see what else would I say. I'm about to wrap things up. But like These are different things that I did while I was in nursing school. Hopefully, something I've said can help you. Uh, having a support system is awesome for nursing school because you're going to need it. I mean, you're definitely going to need it. If I left anything out, um, I'll just make some notes in the bottom of the screen um, that you can go back and refer to. Or I'll just make a new video if I come up with different things that might be helpful for you. But... Main thing, yeah, just stay focused, keep your faith up, knowing that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. If you know God's called you to do this, believe me, he's going to make sure you accomplish it because he wants you to take care of his people.